honored guests, residents, and our elected officials. We'd like to request that everyone put their cell phones on silent during the ceremony. And we will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to invite Father Michael Vetrano of the Basilica Church of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary for our invocation. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great honor to be with you here today, especially as we begin our, our July 4th weekend. What a wonderful way to begin the weekend with a installation of elected officials. Um, July 4th is uh, the weekend of the Declaration of Independence, which we might just well call the Declaration of Inspiration for our country. And so we pray today that we who understand ourselves to be one nation under God, that we understand ourselves before God to be self-governing for the good of all and to protect the equality and the dignity and the rights of every person in every way, their freedoms, their religion, their daily lives. And today we ask the blessing of our almighty God on those who take office today or renew their office today, that in doing so they may be fully blessed to protect and understand and cherish great good of every person and especially the great good of this village, the state of New York, and the country we are proud to call our nation. May God bless all of them today. God bless America. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Mike. Uh, we will now move to our first oath of office for the trustee re-elect Gina Aresta, and the oath will be administered by Father Mike Petrano. I, Gina Aresta, I, Gina Aresta, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support, that I will support, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of New York, the Constitution of the State of New York, the laws of Southampton Village, the laws of Southampton Village, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of Southampton Village Trustee, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties the duties of the uh, trustee of the village. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's all <laughs> According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Next up, we have trustee-elect William Manger, Jr., and his oath of office will be administered by Father Patrick Edwards of the St. John's Episcopal Church. <laughs> Raise your right hand, put your hand on the I, Bill Manger. I, Bill Manger. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. Constitution of the State of New York. The Constitution of the State of New York. And the laws of Southampton Village. And the laws of Southampton Village. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the village of Southampton. Of the village of Southampton. According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Congratulations and God bless you. Lastly, the oath of office for Justice Barbara Wilson, once again administered by Father Michael Vetrano, and then she will uh, swear in Judge Solomon um, as the appointed judge. I'm looking for Helen Gordon, if you'll step up to hold the Bible for me, please. And Justice Wilson, if you'd raise your right hand and repeat after me, placing your hand on the Bible. I, Barbara Wilson. I, Barbara Wilson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. 
The Constitution of the State of New York. The Constitution of the State of New York. The laws of Southampton Village. The laws of Southampton Village. And that I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully, faithfully discharge. The duties of Southampton Village Justice. The duties of Southampton Village Justice. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. So help me God. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I am the president of the Suffolk County chapter of the, Masters, um, the New York State Magistrates Association. The New York State Magistrates Association, whose elected citizens and members sit in over 1,200 town and village courts spread across the entire diverse state, does hereby express its deepest concern over the threatening rhetoric and actions impacting state and federal judges and individuals throughout the land. While we wholeheartedly endorse and uphold the constitutional right of the people peacefully to assemble, we decry the harmful, dangerous, and irresponsible voices and behaviors that threaten the safety, peace, and well-being of judges, their families, their neighbors throughout the county and the state. We recognize that many controversial, personal, and societal issues that courts are often called upon to decide. We have done so for over 230 years, often with public upset. We realize that many citizens are passionate in their positions regarding such issues. However, no civilized people or society can long endure when one's peace and comfort are lost at the hands of another's failure. Beyond constitutional parameters to accord the same to their fellow citizens. We call upon the people to respect and uphold the role of the courts and the independence of the judiciary from both other political branches and from the whirling winds created by a diverse people. Nothing less will sustain our constitutional republic. I think that's so important, especially at this time, when we remember the reasons why we were gathering this forth, to celebrate freedom and the ability for all to speak their freedom, but to do so in a peaceful way that is respectful to all. I thank you. I thank you for all gathering here today, and I also ask, also ask you to remember the reasons why we can gather as a free uh, persons in here, right here in Southampton Village, is because every day, and some days before we even wake up, because there's different time zones, of course, there are men and women 
who were putting on the uniform of the United States military in one capacity or another. They are fighting to protect our very rights that we stand here as free citizens able to assemble. So not just on the 4th of July or Memorial Day or Veterans Day, remember these people. But every day when we get up, let's give them a little blessing or wish them well in our hearts before we set forth on our free path for the day. I sit in church and I listen to my father make some very compassionate homilies. And I agree with those. Instead of deciding today how much more we can accumulate, how much more we can have, why not this 4th of July turn things around and think, how much better can we make someone's life? How many people can we reach out and help today and tomorrow and for all the days to come? Because ladies and gentlemen, this is a very short ride on this earth and we are all here to help one another. So please enjoy the ride. Otherwise, you may be asked to leave. Thank you. Thank you, Justice Wilson. Um, now we'd like to, now we have a few words from our mayor, uh, Honorable Jesse Ford. Good afternoon, everyone. I will uh, make this brief, but first I wanted to again congratulate our newly sworn in elected official, officials and our singular appointed official in Justice Solomon. So congratulations again to our uh, deputy mayor, uh, Gina Resta, uh, trustee, I'll say re-elect as he's come out of retirement to join us, Bill Manger, as well as uh, Justice Barbara Wilson, and again, uh, Justice Solomon. And I also wanted to thank the uh, members of our community who have come out uh, to attend this swearing-in ceremony, other uh, members of our land use boards who are seen here today, and active and participant citizens who have come out and have helped us throughout the process. I also just wanted to remind everyone here today that most of us who take the oath of office and who sign up for the uh, positions of elected officials, we are here simply because we would like to help and to work with you. So I would encourage everybody, whatever your concern is, large or small, that you can feel free and comfortable to come and address that to us and with us. We are here again to work for you and with you, and I think that is a uh, fundamental tenet of being an elected official. We're only here for a temporary period of time. Uh, we have uh, to work within the confines of New York State and local laws, and again, we take the oath of office to serve you and to abide by those laws uh, to which uh, we, uh, we work. Now, I will just add a few anecdotes about our, uh, our new, newly elected uh, trustees. First, I wanted to thank Gina Resta, our, our deputy mayor, the liaison to Public Works Department. And uh, she comes out here, and Gina uh, was essentially what you should be in an elected official. She was a concerned citizen who was inspired one day to step up and to stand out and put herself out there for the betterment of the community. And that is the beauty of, of elected officials where we come out and we, we are here to serve. And uh, I'm very proud of, uh, of Gina, who was recently re-elected, as, uh, as again, um, she came out, she saw the need in the community, and came out with the sole purpose of trying to make the community better. Now, I also wanted to thank and congratulate trustee-elect Bill Manger. Bill, for some reason, reminds me of uh, one of our former presidents and Congress people, uh, John Quincy Adams, in the sense where <laughs> there's a story where after John Quincy Adams lost the presidency to Andrew Jackson, it was told that he was bed stricken. He could not get out of bed. He could not work. He was depressed. Uh, people thought he was going to die. Uh, there was no way of getting him out of bed. He was miserable. Uh, he was there and he just could not even move. That is what the story of oral history has said. And then someone walked into his bedroom and said, Mr. Former President, would you like to run for Congress? And he immediately jumped up and said, yes, I would. <laughs> and, uh, and that to me was uh, a trusting Bill Manger where we said, Bill, we need your help. You're ex extraordinarily experienced. 
would you like to run for trustee today? Yes, I would. Uh, and that is and that is how I would compare him to one of our uh, uh, most intelligent and, and best uh, historical figures in that. So I just, again, wanted to thank all of the, the residents who came out here uh, today and, again, congratulate our newly elected trustees, our newly elected and appointed justice, and, again, thank uh, members of our community, members of our law enforcement community, veterans who came out, and other important citizens who make our lives uh, as, uh, as elected officials, uh, uh, you know, helpful and, and uh, give us the pleasure of serving you. So uh, thank you again, congratulations to everybody, and I'll turn this back over to Charlotte. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, we'll conclude our ceremony with a closing inspiration from Father Patrick Evans. My friends, I'm about to dismiss you uh, with a, a blessing to go and enjoy the beginnings of your 4th of July weekend. And in this time has already been so eloquently said, we celebrate not only the gift of what we've been given, but the responsibility that we have to be able to make our world better, to be able to make this nation better as we celebrate what we love about it. And Your Honor, you said it right. We're, we're all temp jobs up here. <laughs> Even the priests, everybody up here serves just for a bit of time. But this is a modification of the blessing I give my own people and I want to give it to you as part of my community. And that's just a reminder that we are all in a temp job. And that is simply that these lives we share are so very short. And there is so little time for us to gladden the hearts of those who we will meet along the way. So be quick to be kind. Make haste to love. Always do your duty. Everything in your power that you can to make the world better never repay evil for evil. May the blessing of our God who made us, who sustains us, who redeems us be with you and all whom you love this week and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for coming and please join us for some light uh, refreshments. Have a great weekend. Thank you.